Well, you can see it was a little bit on the cool side yesterday by the jackets the fans are wearing here in Detroit, but it won't affect the drivers. Lane number one, the tie boat, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, lane two, Winston Eagle, lane three, Circus Circus, lane four, and Art Vance, American Spirit, lane five on the outside. It was the pace boat coming down for the start. The green flag out, and the boats take it hard into turn number one, but it's the Winston Eagle with the hometown favorite, Mark Tate, aboard. Mark was born right up the road from Detroit. He knows this river well, and he knows about that rooster tail turn, that sharpest of all turns in unlimited hydroplane racing that's coming up after the back stretch. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes on the outside as they try to go down side by side. Mark Tate puts his foot in it and gets the power to the Winston Eagle. And he gets a little high in that right spot, and Dick, as he gets near corner number three down here at the Detroit Yacht Club. This is a tight rooster tail turn. This oval-shaped course is really big in corners one and two, very small in corners number three and four. And Mark Tate hopes to repeat his biggest thrill in Powerball Racing. He won this event in 1991, the Gold Cup. Little battle for second place going on on the inside with the Art Van American Spirit, Mark Evans. And on the outside in uh, spot number two, it is the Kellogg's Frosted Flakes boat, but uncontested is Mark Tate aboard the Winston Eagle. And Mark would like nothing better than to win a Gold Cup here in Detroit before his hometown fans. He's done well in qualifying races with this boat. He just hasn't been able to put it into the winner's circle as consistently as they'd like. So they hope to break that trend here in Detroit today. Over 575,000 people expected this weekend, and they get it. This is the largest trot ever to attend a motorsports event, and that includes the Indianapolis 500. Here's the checkered flag out now as Mark Tate finishes the turns on the Detroit River. This was, of course, racing yesterday in Heat 1A, Winston Eagle, American Spirit, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, the Tide, and Circus Circus finishing out in fifth place. Heat 1B, another three-lapper, again run yesterday. In lane number one, it's the DOC AccuView, Miss T Plus lane two, Miss Budweiser lane three, and DOC Ray-Ban in lane four. And as the boats came down, the Miss Budweiser was obviously the dominant force in this race. As they headed down into turn number one, Chip Hanauer puts the boat out front. Didn't have to work particularly hard on this one. Again, we say this is a three-lap race. The race is coming up later today for the Gold Cup. We'll all be five lap races. There's a great shot of the Miss Budweiser on a river that Chip Hanauer has had some very happy memories from. Now, there are no lane choices as per your qualification speeds in the Gold Cup. You want the five-minute gun, you run on the clock like the old rules, you do not have a sign lane, you have to fight for it. So, evidently, the Budweiser started here in lane three yesterday. That was by choice by the driver, Chip Hanauer. Chip Hanauer liking those middle lanes so far this year. He doesn't want to put the boat right on the buoys. Wants a little extra run. Look at the ride of the DOC AccuView. Ken Muscatel getting bounced around in there. He's going to be happy he's got that eight-point harness on to just hold him in the seat. Here's the DOC Ray-Ban, Mitch Evans. He's had a little bit of engine problem with that boat. It's the only piston boat in the field, and it looks like he's lost the rooster tail. He has engine trouble that will not be fixed on the course. And speaking of engine problems... Well, we hear from the pits now that the D-plus is down because the engine, the oil pressure has dropped and the engine has seized up. That's bad news for them, but this is good news for the Miss Budweiser. Chip Hanauer, checkered flag is out. His first win of the weekend. And lap number one yesterday on the seat, 158.155, a new competition lap record for the Detroit course, beating the old record set by Tom Deeth in 1990 by about four mile an hour. Now, Steve David knows, as his crew, Jim Ramsey, and the rest of those guys, they may have to replace the hot section of this engine if when the oil pressure dropped on the course, they did extensive damage. They're really going to have to work on this boat. The skyline of the Motor City on the banks of the Detroit River, where earlier this weekend qualifying the fastest lap ever, the Winston Select Lap Award goes to the record-setting 170.087 mile an hour for Mark Tate of Detroit, Michigan, in the Winston Eagle. It had been a long time since anyone had out-qualified Chip Hanauer and Miss Budweiser. Not only did Mark Tate do that here in Detroit, he set a new world record for a two-and-a-half-mile course. The combination just came together, or did you find some magic? 
Well, basically, you know, we just put a motor in and put a setup down real quick and went out and ran, and uh, we didn't even have the rear wing on the boat, and Jim just says, go out there and feel the boat out, and if it feels good, try and lay down a lap. And uh, so we did that. We ran two laps, and the second lap happened to be a 170-mile-an-hour lap, and it was just, it was a big thrill, but uh, that was something that uh, we're going to have to put behind us here today and get focused for racing conditions on Saturday and Sunday. <laughs>